Pierce. Okay. Dang. So Pierce Morgan versus Muhammad Hijab. Ha Muhammad Salah. Remember him? He was dope. Who soccer was that? player. Is that a ha? Oh, he was yeah. going crazy. Yeah. Wasn't, he, was, was, uh -huh. wasn't Muhammad, um, what's his name again? Salah. Salah. Wasn't he in, um, what country was that he was uh, playing I for? Forgot. Egypt. He was? I just remember he played for FC uh, Barcelona. I remember he was a problem. I remember he played for Spain. No, I was basically Spain. watched it. It was that somewhere sometimes. over there in the Middle East, bro. Who? Egypt. He was Egyptian. Talking about Saudi Arabia? Mohammed Salah is Egyptian. I said his name wrong. That's North Africa. So they say they use J's? No, ja. I was just saying that because. They, they use J's? Yes, I, I, I can't Spanish. even see it. Yeah, he was, yeah. Uh, Egyptian. You really slow. <laughs> that was Egyptian crazy. Soccer I just player. had to ask, man. You, no, that was really crazy. What, what did he say? So, he I, said they use J's over there. Nigga, that's Spanish, nigga. J's? What you mean by that? Because he said his name, he hob. You know how they use J's as H's? In Spanish. In Spanish. In Spanish. Uh, <laughs> that was a crazy question. But Every time I hear the name Muhammad, I think of Muhammad Salah ever since. No, he's a baller, Since brother. I watched that video, he changed my I've been thinking yeah. of Muhammad Ali. <laughs> that's, wow, oh. that's crazy. All right, all right, let's get serious for a second. He okay. said Muhammad Ali. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even joking. We're not getting off the subject, guys. I know it's a very, very touchy subject. Last video, I thought we did pretty good trying to dissect it. You know, there's a few people out there that uh, say we need to do hey, more educating. Hey, but that's why we're hey, here, I, to I, try I've to been, educate. I've done hey. a lot of research, guys. He has. I, I have. I've been doing a lot of research. I understand this started in 1948 when the UK gave the land to Israel and basically kicked Palestine out. I did it. I did my research. But you know, the other side says it's been going on for thousands of years and they was there first. And I know that the Middle East, uh, Europe uh, was not letting Jewish people in because the Middle Eastern uh, areas was threatening war if they let them in. So they only let like a certain number of Jewish people in a year and then they would send them to Israel, what is now Israel, blah, blah, blah. Was, you know, I've been doing See, he's doing more research than me. You know, I'll be honest. I think y'all wanted me to come out. I think y'all wanted us to come out and pick a side. I'm a, At I'm, the end of the day, it's all bad. I'm hey, getting, remember again. All my information off the internet. Yeah, y'all. Period. I can't lie. I'm not. We, we, we not experts. And then this is not a, experts. They're saying do more research, though. And then they're going to be like, okay, you guys can look at articles. Some articles are biased. So where the, are we supposed to do the research? Are we That's supposed to go yeah. to the library and get we the research? We're supposed to go there, apparently. He said the library. They say we got to go there and talk to the people. Yeah, so Brother. They, bro, they want us to come out and pick a side, guys. But yeah, I, think I, we'll I, get I miss we'll all bad, right but I did see that back in the day, Israel used to poison the water to get the Arabs out. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, he used to poison the See, water. See, there's a lot of information like out here. Like, who knows what's true? Lots of crazy stuff, them. man. There's lots of crazy stuff going on. I, I know think that both sides have done bad things. I think that's what's happening to Palestine. I know that. It's very bad, guys. I do I do see it. I do acknowledge it. It's very bad. Definitely. Okay, so this is probably one of Pierce's second biggest interviews that has happened in a short period of time with Muhammad Hajib. Let's Hijab. get into it. Hajib. Let's get into it. Welcome back. Last week I interviewed the Daily Wire's Ben Shapiro on the crisis in Israel. His powerful emotional analysis made headlines. Sorry, maybe we need to... Wait. You turn my shit down. Oh, shit, huh? I said UK. All of on the same level. It was the UN, I think, that gave too. Israel that land. I think it was the UN. Maybe it was UK. One of them two. Maybe we should do that Ben Shapiro one, though. That was going pretty high, too. Okay, let's get it. Welcome back. Last week I interviewed the Daily Wire's Ben Shapiro on the crisis in Israel. His powerful emotional analysis made headlines around the world. Five million people have watched that interview so far, a measure of the enormous emotion and division this conflict has awoken. Well, among those viewers That's was true. Mohammed Hijab, a controversial pro-Palestine influencer with nearly a million YouTube subscribers of his own. Here's well, what he had to say about it. Do you think Piers Morgan, on fair grounds, would try and speak to me about an issue like this, or Ben Shapiro, when they know what I'm going to come with? Absolutely not. Don't pretend you don't know who I am. You've been watching oh. my videos. You know what I'm about. Oh. Your silence is deafening. Mm. And your cowardice oh. is apparent. Oh, well, 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 well Muhammad Hijab. Here we go. Know. Muhammad, thank you very much for coming in. Well, uh, I hadn't actually watched me. your videos. I have now. I've watched a few of them. I'm aware you've got a massive following. You've got nearly a million YouTube subscribers. You're an influential person. And you have a lot to say about this issue, obviously. So I thank you for coming in. But I'm not too cowardly to talk to you. Uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I think I've tried to straddle a divide of being fair-minded with all sides. I've had all voices on the show. I commend you for that, actually, right. uh, to be honest, for bringing me on. But do realise I did caveat that with unfair ground. So let's mm. hope that this interview is conducted... I like intend to be completely fair. Yeah, sure. I, I promise you, because all I want to get to here is a real sense of what is going to happen. We can all look back at... Well, we can before, all look back... Before, well, let me just... Before that, Piers, yeah. sorry, if you, if you want to say fair grounds, mm. you introduced me as a Palestinian controversial... I actually host. corrected myself. Right, so... I said pro-Palestinian. I meant to say pro-Palestinian. So why did the word controversial come into play? I think you're controversial. So are you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't... So is the ambassador. Why didn't, right. you, why didn't you introduce her in that manner? 
I, I'm happy to say that to many people, her views would be controversial. So why don't you introduce me as the Oxford graduate? Mm. Do you want to be introduced as that? Yes. OK, you're an Oxford graduate. Go ahead. OK. Not um, no him. problem. You can be introduced as yeah, well, like. no I can be to the debate. Let me ask you this. Where were you when you heard about what happened on October the 7th? I was at home. What was your reaction when you heard? I, I was actually very sickened by it. And, and this is something I do want to put on the table because I think it's fair for people to know this. In our religion, we do not believe, okay, as a Muslim, I am a Muslim, and I do not believe in the killing of any man, woman, or children, um, non-combatants. That is not despite the religious teachings. That is because of the religious teachings. So in terms of condemning Hamas and just jumping straight into mm. it, I condemn not only Hamas, but any other entity, okay, uh, wherein it's proven that this has been done, that the killing of combatants has been done. Therein, I condemn any party that does it. Any party that kills people or strikes at people where it's more probable than not that it will hit a civilian target, I condemn them. And that's why I condemn the IDF. Because when they strike, they know that it's more probably than not going to hit civilian targets. They know that the majority of civilians or the majority of people that are going to be affected are civilians. We know that from the various operations that have been conducted. We know that because now in Gaza you find that there is a, a blockade, as you know, for 17 years, but also there is, they're, they're stopping them from electricity, water, which is a war crime under Geneva 4 of the, uh, of the Geneva Convention. That is a fact. Protocol 4 of the Geneva Convention. That is a fact. So this is something I'm surprised you didn't actually mention to the ambassador. But well, I, did say, mention, I did mention it. You didn't say it's a war crime. Well, I think it's an arguable point whether it's a war crime. Okay, let me ask you another thing. They, they are saying, Israel, at the moment, Israel is adamant. Sure, they sure. are not... Oh, let's get this off the table right now. Is Palestine also hitting Israel with bombs? No, that's Hamas that did that. So Palestine are not hitting Israel with bombs at all? Palestine, uh, it's, they, it's, shot, it, it's the they shot bombs, but the Palestinians and uh, Hamas, you have to separate them because yeah. they're two different entities. No, that's I know, I know, I know. But are they shooting bombs at them? Hell no. Hamas, Hamas is shooting bombs is that they Hamas. got from Iran. Hamas. So Palestine aren't shooting any bombs. Bro, in Gaza. Gaza. I know they're, I know they're close Palestine. together. Palestine. I know listen, they are. Listen, but the I'm president right of you. In Gaza. The majority of the population are children and they're all poor. Yes. Where are they going to get bombs? The so, Hamas got the bombs and all that from Iran. So the it's Palestinian the government is not Bang retaliating that. against Israel mm -hmm. and shooting bombs. Hamas no. isn't the their Hamas government. is not the Palestinian I government. I know they're not. I know they're not. So, okay. And the Palestinian government in West Bank. Hell no. They're not doing anything. And the people over there are still dying. 7,000 people still died in West Bank where they're peaceful and have no Hamas. Well. That's what, that's what, um, uh, Bosom, Bosom said, Bosom Yusuf said, he said, why? It's in, uh, he said, let's separate Gaza, where Hamas is, to the West Bank. He said, there's 7,000 people that still died in West Bank and there's no Hamas there at all. This is insane. Okay, IDF means Israel Defense Forces. Yes, that's know? Israel Defense Forces. That's wow, the okay. army. But it is a war crime that they did cut off the water and... Uh, and Israel, uh, right? Yes, Israel cut off the water in Gaza. They cut off the electricity in Gaza and they cut off the Wi-Fi. So they pretty much doomed all the, the poor people that's already there. That's and He said, you know, he mentioned the blockade. The blockade has cost Gaza's... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cost their economy over $17 billion. That's why they're all poor. Because they okay. have no trade routes. They can't can't get out and they can't do nothing to benefit their economy because they're all stuck behind that blockade. I ain't gonna lie, they changed a lot of things. And they right bombed there. the hospital with Israel. To the ambassador. Did. I did mention, I did you didn't say it's a war crime. Well, I think it's an arguable point, but it's a war crime. Okay, I'm asking now things. They, they are saying, Israel, at the moment, Israel is adamant. Sure, sure. They are not breaching war crimes, right? It will be determined. But, but if we could, well, it will be determined whether that's the case. No, no, no sorry, sorry. What that's, is it? That's incorrect. Mohammed, oh, well, let, let me just make a point to you back on that. I think it, we, surely we can agree that what happened on October the 7th was a war crime. I mean, when people are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young children, yeah. when they're, when they're sh killing babies in their the cribs, we can agree that's war crime. Have they right? proven okay. that they killed babies. any babies? Can Has so, that been proven? Because I've heard that a lot, and I literally saw a video of the Gaza children that were killed by bombs, but I have not seen anything. So worse. is Hamas terrorizing Palestine too? I don't uh, know. No, I thought they was only um, terrorizing So when they're talking Jewish about people. Hamas, number one goal is to eradicate the Jewish, Jewish people and that. their occupation in the Palestinian So when Pierce is land. talking about it was wrong to go and, you know, kill grandmothers and babies, are he talking about the Israel? He's talking about Hamas. Hamas, Hamas, Hamas ran that. in Israel yeah. okay. and killed a bunch of people at the okay. music festivals, yeah. and they pulled up to like, I don't, like settlements where people were living, and they raided them and killed a bunch of people. So that's his talking point. Okay. That's, okay. that's okay. where okay. everyone's talking about. And that, that happened. That did happen. It's very bad. It's very bad, okay. guys. It's very bad. Was a war. That's not the Palestine's fault, I mean, when fault, people though. are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young 
children, yeah. when they're, when they're sh- killing babies in their cribs, we can agree that's war crime, right? Okay, babies... Can we? Surely, of course, 100%. Right. But babies in the crib... Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? You don't believe that happened? Uh, the, sorry, CNN, mm. the White House, mm. uh, Sky News, which you work for, all say... It's I don't work for Sky News. Well, you, your, your, your thing... I did work at CNN. I saw, sure, one, sure. I saw one reporter who retracted it because she wasn't sure about the source. It's then, unconfirmed by the White House. But then the Daily Telegraph and the Jerusalem Post and other sources then did publish pictures. The CNN, which indisputably showed babies oh, wow. had been killed. No, it showed one baby who's, who's been charred, and that, video, that picture has been put up on Twitter and has been refuted by uh, many people saying that it's actually AI. More no, no, of, that, that's completely oh, untrue. That, that is, that no, is no, true. What's your source? Mohammed, What's Mohammed, your source? It, there's been a thorough investigation into the so, claim that was put up there by some rogue person on Twitter that it was AI. It has been completely disproven. Okay, let me that ask you picture, question. which was published What's on the Telegraph, What's is, your a, source? is a genuine, legitimate What's your picture. What is your source? Are you seriously arguing that yes, babies yes. weren't killed? No, I didn't say that. Well, what not, are you I, saying? I'm saying, give me a source. Yeah. You know full well you've been fired from the Daily Mirror for fake images. Mm. So you know full well about the... the I didn't accept they were fake. Exactly. The UK government did. Mm. Yeah, they did. Uh-huh. Because so, the UK no, government, just to be clear, sure, sure. had waged, in my view, an illegal war in Iraq. So you're allowed to go we, against which, the government, and I'm not allowed to go um, against the Israeli no, no, government? You're allowed, of course you're allowed to. So tell me now, what's the source? You, you seem to be making a lot of presumptions about me, Mohammed. Yes, I was you had the, softball questions I was the editor, ambassador of a No, they weren't. I put all the questions to the ambassador. I was the editor of the Daily Mirror when we opposed the Iraq war sure. on the grounds that I believed it was an illegal war. Yeah. I still believe that to this day. I think Good. it stained this country. Fantastic. I don't think you even knew that. I did know that. Right. But I'm not, that's not the point I was making. Mm. I was making the point that if you're allowed to go against a government mm. in their classification of a, an image, mm. then if you have pro-Palestinian uh, activists who are saying, actually, we need to see a source, shouldn't they be entitled to the that? The Daily Telegraph published on page three... Should they be entitled the to that, yes or talking no? About, the Daily Telegraph they be to that, yes said no? they had independently verified they be the in, picture, Mohammed. No, excuse me. If you're saying that their Primary verification is wrong... No, excuse me. Primary source in academia... I know you've done a journalism uh, degree, which mm-hmm. is, well, frankly, it's not relevant to what we're talking about mm. here anyway. Probably is to journalism, yeah. Uh, no, it's not to this conflict. But mm. w- we academics require primary source evidence in mm. order to make it... The Daily Telegraph the said... Source evidence? The Daily Telegraph said they verified the picture. It's, 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 <laughs> that's a secondary source. Right. You may say... That's a secondary source. You may say... That's a secondary source. Well, you may say you don't think it's genuine. I don't agree with you. Mm. But the wider point... That was my point. But I said I want a source. Mohammed, I just want to see the evidence. we're arguing about here. You're not contesting that babies were killed. No, I'm saying I want to see the evidence. So why, why are you picking on the semantics of the veracity of one picture, it's not, it's not. which has been verified by British journalists? Why are you picking on that? British some, journalists some are not Some example of somehow this wasn't as bad as it seems. British journalists are not an academic authority. You know mm. that full well. You've been fired because, from Daily Mirror for that mm. very purpose. What I'm like saying to you is this, putting this issue to the side, I think you're trying to use this as a red herring to, to move away from the what bigger issue. What red issues. herring? This is a red herring because already 1,023 children have been killed in Gaza. Mm. That's why. And you didn't ask the ambassador that question. I literally you? asked the ambassador. No, that I said 3,000 people have already been killed in a week in sure. Gaza. Well, you didn't ask her. You, did you she even convinced? listen you to my it? interview with I the did ambassador? Listen. I did listen, but excuse me. Well, you, don't put words in my no, mouth or say I didn't ask a question. Hold them, ask a question. Do you condemn the killing of those children by the IDF? I'll tell you what I condemn. I yes can, or no? I'm going to answer your question honestly and truthfully. Sure. And Because I've tweeted about this, right? Well, okay. I think that what happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on the It happens every day in Palestine. No, no. Why do you care about that? It actually doesn't. It doesn't. It it does actually. No, no. No. The Israeli forces. I've got the stats for that. Israeli forces do not go. Cast lead. Wait a minute. Mohammed. Go and check it out. Mohammed. Israeli forces. Cast lead, protective edge. Israeli forces don't go into Gaza on one day and grab grandmothers and kill babies in Wait, their beds okay, okay. and no, no, hold on. Uh, rape and abuse women. So, uh, rape, is there any evidence for that? There, it's been re- multiple reports no, in multiple know, what, mainstream media whom? publications. Whom? But that's but you not, just say you deny uh, everything. That's not no, evidence, no. You are. Yeah. No, you I accept that some citizens have been killed. I do hmm. accept this. And I, and I already said... You I don't could, believe any of the reports that women were raped? No, I didn't say that. I said that it's still to well, be... Do you think they were raped? No, I don't know. It's like the uh, Russell Brand thing. You said we don't know any the evidence. So why do you apply uh, uh, two different not. standards? I'm okay, so it's been reported. Way, when it's Israel, we know they're raped. When no, it's Russell Brand, it's you don't been, know because you're No, friend. it's been reported mm. by legitimate like, users. When it's Israel, you know they're raped. But when it's Russell Brand, you don't know. Them. When it's Russell Brand, you don't know they're raped. There's comparison between Russell Brand and what's happening. It's the same thing. It's a rape allegation. That was a great example. He's standing on business. He is going crazy right Bro, now. He just, he's making a point when he says, as an academic, reports, report journalism, someone reporting something is not a primary source of evidence because you can just make an article and report anything. TMZ, for example. 
I'm not gonna lie. Just but that's saying. that's the whole thing though, because <laughs> all the information I done got, who is the source? See, most yeah. of the information on both sides. Most of the information historically that I've received, I watched like YouTube videos or I've read like like a timeline of events and things like that. See, they would like say that's not, the whole thing. Not a, yeah, see, see, some people would say that's no. not credible. Yeah, they no, just make but they use up, like you know? historical citations and things like that. Like they do, they they cite cite, cite historical events that, hard that are, are well documented to back up the sources. So that in that instinct, I'm like, okay, you can kind of get a, a, a somewhat of a proper timeline, you know. But a lot of the stuff, you know, I've seen things that have been debunked. I've seen a lot of things that have been reported that has been debunked. Like the decapitated <laughs> babies thing, that's been debunked multiple times, and I've heard people. Keep regurgitating that over and over. I'm not I seen, I around. seen, I'm keeping her. I'm I seen around. a disturbing photo today of a baby without a head. I saw Twitter. that too. That video. That was the Gaza baby that, that happened from the bombing in Gaza. That messed they me up. They held the baby up. I said after this interview, disgusting. I ain't gonna see it right now because I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of picking the side in my head right now. Being Could, killed. On I the other sent side? that to the ambassador. Okay, but do you condemn that? Yes or no? I don't think so. Any, you refuse to condemn. No. You do refuse Why to condemn. Why are you putting words in my mouth? Because you're not you're not condemning it, are you? What do you want me to condemn? Condem Israel's okay, right. excellent. What do I want you to condemn? Yes. I want you to condemn the fact that the IDF, knowing that it's more probable than not, mm. pressing buttons from the sky, mm -hmm. killing innocent civilians, yep. 1,000 of them children, that that is a war crime and that is not acceptable morally. Just like I you believe, condemn the other one. Is it condemnable or not? I believe, given the scale of what Hamas did on October the 7th, Go on, Israel is all. entitled to, to kill defend. children. No, that's not what I said. Go ahead. They're entitled to defend themselves with How? force. Okay, excellent. Then the question becomes, Mohammed, okay. it's an interesting debate. Sure. If, as it seems to sure. me, you believe too, Go on. Hamas are not a force for good, do you believe that? Well, I think that uh, anybody who kills children and those elements of Hamas mm. who are we killing children. Right, so we can agree. Okay. So, so we I'm, agree. I'm, I'm, so so my point is. Finish your point. The only thing I could really say that's really bad, but the Gaza Strip was owned by the Hamas. It's not owned by Hamas. But then their whole government well, took over that. We so. don't know how they came into power. You act like people voted a terrorist organization to run. I mean, bro, wait, I'm a, but, I'm but, 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 but if you look at it, no like democracy, that. they can't vote. Bro, if they had, okay, listen, if people are poor, they're all poor and they're mostly children. People with guns and rockets come in. We're in charge. But like, how the f is gonna stop them? But like, you don't think logically assess that? You don't think it's all confusing? Why would, they, though, why would they? Why would they? The the one part of the Palestine that still exists that's poor and impoverished and mostly children. Why would they? But how do we know it's all mostly children? Like, who had the children? That's a fact, though. That's that's a confirmable from, fact. From who? From what source? Geographic. But I got, I got I got another but it's question. Fifty percent children. You can I look got, it up. I got another but question. If they blocked in, who had the children? If they're blocked in, how they able to get the weapons to? Iran. So Iran like, supports Hamas. So, so how they don't just go to from. Iran though? But I thought they're blocked aid and no one could get out. I don't Bro. think they're allowing them to go to Iran, right? They can't. They're blocked in. Yeah. So they're you know I'm like, 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 having questions because it's like okay. It's all, so like, you're, 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 you're questioning You're saying that like like they I'm elected keep Hamas to control them. That that's what's coming it sounded like though. Look, the CIA, I literally I'll read it to you. I'll read you the the Gaza facts about their demographics. Pull that up. But I'm gonna keep it on Palestine ain't bombing Israel. Israel bombing innocent people. So I'm gonna keep it a hunt in here. Hamas bomb. Uh, yeah, Hamas, yeah. Hamas, Hamas, but Hamas, Hamas is in Palestine. But That's a different that group Gaza, of people. The Gaza Strip is with Palestinians in Hamas. Okay. Hamas right. is an so, active yeah. terrorist group. Let's go Trudeau. Let's go That's like a gang. That's like black people. That's like black people. This is the biggest who, bro, question bro, though. Hold on. Still, real quick. Real quick though. This is the biggest question. I think this is a fair question. If you're in Israel's position. What was they supposed to do? Not do what they're doing. No, but I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay, so what were they supposed to do though? Um, let's get some troops up. Let's get let's, let's rile all the troops up and let's go get Hamas. Yeah, I, I think that's. But how you know who's Hamas? Okay. They don't yeah, wear yeah, the uniform. You see what, what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We gotta figure it out, bro. We can't bomb in the beach. But they all all. No, but listen, listen. They said. Well, I remember last episode. The whole Gaza Strip was owned by. It's not owned. Well, was elected governed. or in governed. They elected. They were governed. They were governed by power. It said governed by. It that said was a hard decision for them. Power. Power. So they're governed. But well, like, if you governed but, by like a, you bro, know. But do, we don't, they don't have a government. They did not, hey, we vote for you guys to control us. That makes no sense. They don't have a government. How how would they have a regular See, election? See, Hamas flew in Israel. I want, you, I want you to really explain to me how that works. I don't how, know. How, how would that work? If everybody there is poor, it's documented that everyone lives in extreme poverty. 
Why would, how would they have the means to rise up and stop people with guns and weapons that will kill them for power? But they're the same people who, that's, they, that's them, right? No. Hamas so and different Palestine races? are two different, are they or, different races? They're two different entities. But they're the same race. Well, yeah, but like, yeah. How, how can we say that they're, they put Hamas in charge so they have to pay for that? Well, it's not they like who who that's how basically what you're saying. Like, that's basically I, I don't know how they're saying. Like, I don't know what you're saying. saying. It's like they don't know. We didn't honestly. figure out how did they become a different entity though. Like because they just they're like an organization. Poor, they went to a poor like state or like city. It's, not, it's just like a game. It's basically. like a game. It's like us. It's black folks. So why game. It's just a game. Why didn't Palestine get? How they're not different people. Like you and me, we look the same, right? You could be. Hamas and I'm not Hamas, but we the same race. I'll break, I it, down to, I'll break it down to you guys. That. I'll break that. it down to you about Hamas. More than two people, two million people live in Gaza. It's extremely, it's one of the world's most densely and populated territories, according to the Israeli Gisha, an Israeli non-governmental organization. That's confirmed. It is more than one million children. Almost 40% of the population is under the age of 15, according to the CIA. That is confirmed. More than 1.4 million of the residents in the Gaza Strip are Palestinian refugees, according to the United Nations Relief and Works or, or Agency. That is confirmed. It has the highest unemployment That's rate in one of the highest man. unemployment rates in the world. World Bank statistics show that is confirmed. The United Nations estimates that 80 percent of the population relies on international aid to survive and access basic services. So if everyone there is in extreme poverty and people come in with guns. And they're terrorists. No, but they, they didn't come in. They was already there. How do we know that? They're because they're the same race. The same people. They're Palestinian. They're, they're not. Palestinian. They look no different. <laughs> Bro, but that's what I'm saying, though. They These crazy It's just people, like, basically, like, look. We in, it's we like in a Texas, gang. Right? It's like we in Texas, and then the Bloods went, and they did some shit, right? It's like, they're not different than us. They just chose to be in that organization. So that's like saying, because we live in the hood, and Bloods go commit No, I'm not saying that's crime. right. I didn't say that was right. I'm just saying that's oh, what no, it that's is. What, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm saying, not saying that, but yeah, I'm, I'm just not saying. Condemning what I'm just, All I'm saying is I'm just like, saying. how do you decipher? My point it's is, hard. you can't no, no, decipher. And then Hamas flew in and invaded them. So it's kind That's why it's so hard. This is so hard because you can't. Like, yes, they are wrong for killing innocent children. Facts, facts. Yes, this they are wrong for invading and, and I got another question. I don't know what they're supposed to do. Let me, this is what I'm trying to say, though. We have to view Hamas and the people in Gaza as two different entities. Yes. yes. No, That's all not, I'm saying. We can't. Yes. We can't no, I, know that, I understand that. Yeah, he was you basically saying, well, can't say, yeah. Gaza is controlled by them. No, so no, no. That's not what he was saying. That's basically what he was no, saying, bro. No, no. He was saying that's where they are. That's where Hamas is. Yeah, he was saying it is. Israel. It, it, that's he's saying, that's he believes that's that's that Israel attacked where Hamas is. And that's the biggest part right now. You were saying they was governed and controlled by them, so they basically put them in power, so they got to be bombed. No, he wasn't saying that. He was basically saying their location is where. He said they're in there together. He was saying basically the same oh, no, thing I was facts. saying. That's facts. That's what he was that's saying. Facts. He wasn't saying that. Yeah. No. Oh, no, I misunderstood you. Saying, yeah. I apologize. I misunderstood you. I thought you were saying that they are getting blown up because they put them in power. No, that's not what he said. How the hell Hamas get these goddamn bombs and From shit? From Iran. Iran. Yeah, Iran. Iran. Bro, Bro, and we keep skipping over the fact that Donald Trump said that this shit would fucking happen if Joe and Biden gave Iran that money, I got, I got and question. that shit literally happened. I got a question: If they're blocked for them not to get out or in, how did the bombs get in there? Wow. They put a get Ben got in there, bro. bro. They've been blocked that's on this. That, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. This. They're blocked from getting out now. Hamas can come they, and go. Yeah. As, they can come and go as they please. They, 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 bro, they, they can come and go. The, the the one who created Hamas so I can doesn't see, even live I can in Palestine. It doesn't even so, live in Gaza. So, so before the war, on. before the war, they was able to go in I mean, and out freely. To, that, yes. I ain't a lot. But we, that's people, like a crazy question because it's like nigga, they got the bombs. The, bro, <laughs> like, but, no, but, that's important, bro. bro, bro they got the bombs, though. That's why they can see what happened. Like, does it matter? Before 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 Palestine gave it to them. No, Iran. Iran. I know. But before before it happened, they were able to leave. But don't say, oh, why didn't people leave when we just said eight percent of them are extremely poor and can't even. It's the extremist group. Palestinian people. Yes. Yes. Okay. I can see why the I can see Israel why too. did I'd what be they upset. did. Yes. Israel but you don't to know. You Israel will not did know. have to retaliate. I you know that. But, but I can't sit here and say what would be know. the right way to retaliate because that is the unanswered question. That's just the wrong way to me. But we have to address something though. We have to address something though. Yes. They have no way of knowing. But they do know when they make these airstrikes Who's going to mostly be affected, and they know that exactly, it's going that. to negatively affect the civilians, I got, I got which a question. he stated is a war crime. I got a question. So a we can't crime. we can't say that what they did was wrong, but the the question becomes what do we suggest? I mean, if 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 Israeli forces are on the border of uh, the blockade that that blocks them, 
Why can't they just go in? But they gonna say, "Oh, you Hamas? Oh no, I, ain't I got, Hamas. I got, okay, bet. I got another question too. You know, I'm just saying, I, I got, Hamas. I got, I got another there's question. No, there's no, there's no. I mean, bro, but yeah, bro, if, if they walk in there, Hamas so then they would have to, to kill attack. every military age male. Walk in there and kill every single no, military bro, age male. No, That's the only other option. Then. If they walk in there, Hamas is going to reveal themselves. Hamas does wants to eradicate them. As soon as the idea walks in, it's going to start a fight. So, so then, you think they would just like the military walks in there against the 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 gang, the group that they just won't? Like, they gonna they gonna Kill them, right? If, bro, if they walk in, I'm pretty sure Hamas is going to try to attack them. Okay, Boom. and then they're going to kill you them, find, right? But you some people... Them out. You found, they, you found yeah. who you was looking for. So you just shoot who's shooting you? Yes. You done been shot! Bro, if y'all walk in... <laughs> I'm going to shoot who's shooting you. In me. a hostile environment, you should know to expect... Yeah, they, they got, got I, bombs and shit. You I can't tell the got. difference. I got a question. If we was in a situation right now, just real quick, and they busted in here, right? Y'all three Hamas, I'm not. How how do they decipher? I'm trying to defend myself. Somebody walked in my house with a gun. Hi, get down. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Hamas. I'm not Hamas. I'm not Hamas. Nigga, uh, pow! That's what they're gonna have to do. They can't, there was no option. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. It's an unwinnable well, like argument. Business. Killing children. Right, so we can I'm agree. Off. So, so my, we agree. My, 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 so so my ahead, point is, your point. if Israel's purpose is to rid the world of Hamas after the atrocity of October the 7th, sure. how do they do that, given that Hamas embeds itself in civilian areas in the way that it does? Everyone knows that in Gaza. Okay. That's a great how question. do they do that in the surgically yeah, clean way that you seem to think yeah, they should be doing? Okay. Can I say how do you not kill civilians? Beautiful. Can I, can I, I don't ask... like any civilian death. Do you mind if I answer I don't question? endorse any civilian death. Well, no, no, do no. I you don't condemn it, though. Hang on. Yeah. No, and here's why. Because I support Israel's right to defend okay. itself. Beautiful. Now, can, can I say no, something? No, no, one more point. So then you can reply. Sure. But the question then becomes, what is proportionate? Okay. What is a proportionate response? Okay. I don't have the answer. Excellent. Because I don't know what a proportionate response no to 1,300 murders That's is. That's the problem. When 260 young people at a music festival, uh -huh. most of them peace-loving people uh -huh. enjoying themselves at a festival, a when they get terrible. slaughtered by people paralyzed with machine guns, I don't That's know terrible. what the proportionate response Pause is. Pause So can you tell me? You're the question, just really cut and dry, the question becomes, okay, if you have to retaliate, for what was done, what you do, it basically comes, how many people do you kill? Innocent, not innocent, like, because people have to die. Uh, that yeah. is what y'all are saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. so that's like, that's such a... But then it comes down to... What is the correct calculation for how many people should die It's a bad this? government. It's bro. like, you know... It's a bad government. It's like, it's almost like in the hood, like, your homie get killed, and you got to spin, and then his homie get killed, and they got to spin, and they just like, boom. It's, it's, it's never going to end. It's, it's never going to end. That's why I'm, that's what like, it's an unwinnable... And to a and good person, a you, good, peaceful you person There's comes no into play. Answer. There's no it's real answer, though. It's going to take two. One person turns to two. It's going to be the argument going to be in some I mean, I mean, I mean, there's no real answer. I feel like, I feel like, first off and foremost, if they invade it, you got to kill the invaders first. That's what they're trying to do, though. That's what you did, and you said that's bad. But they they're, are, they're they together. They invaded Israel. So that means together. they're in Israel. Why don't you get the people? They ran in Israel where there was the music festival and well, yeah, ran they, in they they probably, yeah, they they Yeah, but that means they're going to come back. If they did it once, they could do it if again. If they are in there and they're trying to take the land back, I'm I mean, sure bro, if they bro, invaded, they, they're not going to run back after they invaded. They probably not, still not, they probably not. But, but they still they think more going to come. But they're no organization, right? So they didn't, the whole, everybody who went just like. Well, off the rip, you got to get the invaders first. Okay, get them. We know. You're, a good idea would be get. I mean, there's nothing you can do though. If they're Brother, in there together, mean, like that government. house, like Bad that government. house of Hamas, that house not Hamas, Bad that house of Hamas, that house not house Hamas. Like what do they do? See, see, see. But that's where you don't know. But that's what you do know is. is that there's invaders in y'all land that have committed an atrocity, which what it was, they came, they killed a bunch of peaceful people, they yeah. invaded settlements and murdered a bunch of uh, uh, people just simply off the fact that there's Jews, which so, is yeah. horrible. They done probably been dealt with though. Oh, the people that's in the, that was in Israel. I, I did see that some of them have been dealt with, but that's okay. that's that's a, issue number one. Yeah, that's what uh, that, 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 that was handled. Then, he said, number he said, two why, would be, yeah, okay. I would say, reinforce the blockade. Okay. Keep them from okay. coming back in. Okay. Do you retaliate? Yes. Yeah, How? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's what it's just like, it's, 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 it's a bad government. 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 It's a Let's scrap this shit out guns and move the people out the way. Bro, real talk, bro. bro, bro it's, 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 shit, shit not going to be fair. You think that we're outside of uh, get a fair one? Yeah, they're killing each other. It's just no more grenades and shit, but not war. Oh, God. Let's talk about this. We're coming into war, war crimes, though. You okay, real quick, though. Okay, yeah. yeah. But this, that's why I said, okay, a war crime is war. There's, war crimes might happen in war. I mean, I'm sorry. That, that shit is fucked up. You're killing each other. War is fucked up. Yeah, you're killing each other. I've been to war. 
fucked up. You're I ain't gonna lie. But so the last thing, last thing, okay. rising though. This is Other my, countries threatening to get involved. Russia yeah, this says is, something. Turkey says something. China horrible, says something. It's a horrible. Thing. That's a problem. It is. This whole thing is a problem. But my last point. My last point. Hold on. I lost it. Hold on. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It's hard, right, but hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it was good. It was so good. You can wait till then. You can think about it. Again. Okay. Think about okay. It. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay. For about two minutes, you didn't do that with the ambassador. By the way, I'm just showing you. You're saying fair, but but you're not being fair. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, 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 okay so okay. let me just. Was the invasion on what they did a, a, a war crime? Hell yeah. yeah. So how do you respond to a war crime? If you if you commit with a war crime on me, how do I? Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So well, that's what I'm saying. That's why people. That, are, that, that, that's that, why is that an act of war? What they did is that an act of war or not? Yes. So when well, you get to war, then it's, just, then it's in war now. It, it, and that's what okay. War, so, you cannot, war, that's why, that's the whole point why America not like, we don't want to go to war because that's not a light thing. When you go to war, you are killing, killing people. That is war. You're just going out and you're killing people. Y'all versus us, we killing people. So if you commit an act of war, Crime. then we have to go to war. Yeah. So you know, like, did, 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 what did they think was going to happen? If yeah. they, when they attacked them, they think they was gonna go let that. But but Palestine didn't have nothing to do with that. That was Hamas. That's why the people saying free they Palestine. Are in, the, you can't say, I, I bro, know, bro. You know America did that. America did that. But it's not them, self. bro. It's America. Not them, bro. See, see, but when we when we retaliated, we wasn't blowing up a bunch of civilians. Yes, we bro, did. We dropped a nuke on Japan. We dropped a on the whole city, boy. These people uh, that was down for years. First what of you all, mean? First of all, bro. They that, that's a different one. Bro. Army base. They pulled up on us. We didn't have. But the radiation from the nuke. The radiation from the nuke. But Killed bro, a lot of they, they I don't know if this is okay, a bad example. Like nigga, it's 2023. That's like, I can't drop noobs no more. That's like Hawaii. That's like Hawaii. How long has the Geneva Convention been around? But look, though. To, to, con look to no. condemn war crimes. They, they, did, they, did they do an act of war to the U.S.? Yes. yes. So they, the U.S. Went retaliated. We went to war. Okay. That. Exactly. Look, they they dropped the If you commit an act of war, <laughs> if someone commits an act of war, you go to war. And that's what happened. America is the only country in the world. Cut and dry. That's what happened. They commit an act of war. Uh, I can't say it like that. And war is fucked up. Come on. Nukes. Come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's okay. Two nukes they oh, they dropped. You two. commit an act of war, we go to war. That's nukes. what happens. Yes, no, yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. if a nigga come in here, you, you commit an act of war, you die instantly. Sorry. That's, that's yeah, how it goes. Yeah, yeah, if the nigga come in this house, they die. I'm sorry. That, that, okay, it's like an act of war. That's like Mexico going to war. I don't care if the nigga was 13 years old, he ain't no better. Nigga, you ran in this bitch. It's okay. Okay, okay. It's like Mexico going to war, and then we, you know what I'm saying, we the neighbors, we down there getting bombed. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I got a question. So, I got a crazy question. They're not neighbors, they're in the same place. I got a crazy question. The whole thing is fucked up. If the cartel came and dropped bombs on the U.S. soil, on the U.S., do you know what they would do? They would drop bombs on Mexico. Would U.S. be right? To drop bombs on that should be fun. It's, it's, it's the same exact same situation. Like we that's why we need to protect that southern border like we because that shit can happen. They can run right to the southern border and they can go to motherfucking Houston and eliminate thirty watchers and then boom, they watchers. Tell what me. did what what should Israel have done? Let us know. I'm just keeping a hundred. Y'all can eat me up. No, 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 if you know it's a bunch of children in there, and I, just speak as a government, listen, I can't do let me, it. Let me say I my can't. point. Let me say my I point. Can't. Let me say my point real quick. If you know that the area is mostly a bunch of poor children, right? Yeah, that's fucked they up. They have nothing. And you just come just blowing shit up willy nilly. I just can't. You gotta hey, know. Hey, you gotta I know got, that you're gonna be blowing hey, children. I got, I got something to you say. No, I got something crazy. I'm gonna tell you something. In the US, you gotta leave. one thing. We ain't dropping bombs on children willy nilly. We need to go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I, I was gonna say, I got damn, y'all got. Sorry, bro. Got this is a passionate thing. That's, that's, that's how I feel. But we know like, you gotta leave. We right, 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 give your two cents. When you give your two cents, it's hard to argue that. Like I really yeah, yeah. can't give you a response because like they have to retaliate. They do. They, they do. do. All right, they do. I'm saying fair, but but you're not being fair. I've said okay, so so let me just let me paint. I will be fair. Sure, sure. I'm genuinely interested in what you have to say. Excellent. You're you're from Irish descent. We know that there was an IRA. Yes. In Belfast and so on. Okay, so let me ask you a question now. If there was an IRA, IRA in Belfast mm. and they were occupying council properties and so on, and then we have a plane of RAF going to destroy that council mm. property, destroy all of Belfast, flatten it, mm. as one uh, representative said, got live. Mm. Uh, the IDF said that, um, uh, one of the uh, IDF members said that we, we will flatten it completely. That's mm. what we want to do. Mm. We don't care about accuracy, he said. Mm. We will care about damage. That's mm. what he said. Mm. The, you didn't okay. question her about that. That's but anyway, a problem. If the yes. RAF were to then go into Belfast and dis flatten as the IDF and these guys want to do, if they want to flatten Belfast, 
with all the white people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the term white. Mm -hmm. All the white people, council estates living in there, with the excuse that we're doing it because it's proportional, uh, proportionate uh, defense mm -hmm. to uh, the terrorists. What would you say about that? Uh, here's what I would say to you. Is that acceptable or unacceptable? Here's what I would That's say to you. That's a great question. Yeah. The IRA uh, committed a series of atrocities mm -hmm. over numerous decades. Mm -hmm. They targeted, in their eyes, military and political targets. They usually gave some form of warning, not always. Okay. They, they were terrorists. No, no, they were terrorists. Sure. They never, ever went out one day and committed the barbaric slaughter of 1,300... Irrelevant. No, no. If they did, if they I'm did. sorry, it's if not they irrelevant. Did. If they no, did. No, 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 Mohammed. If his, they did. Here's why it's not irrelevant. Okay. They, ne they never did. But if they did, they never you, did. would you accept by the, way, the RAF to flatten by the way, Belfast? There were outrages committed by... My law question is... By if, the loyal, loyalist parliamentary too. My question is, here's my if point. they did, they never would came, you think it's acceptable They never or not? came close to committing an outrage if on that they, scale. If right? they did, is it acceptable they to flatten They never went Belfast? in and kidnapped grandmothers or killed babies if in they cribs. Did, is it acceptable or not? They believe they were fighting for better or worse, and I believe for worse, and that's why I'm glad peace was found. They believe they were fighting... My question is that a military question. target. I'm trying to bring it closer to home. You're you. trying to compare apples and oranges. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's you that's having that. The, the only comparison that I would say that we saw from October the 7th and what Hamas did is with ISIS. Excuse me. It's uh, the only uh, comparison. Do, do you mind if I just, let, me let me ask you a question? Let me ask you a question. It does. A Palestinian. And ISIS were taken out, by the way, with you're, you're plane, with planes. Me. No, no. Here's my. You didn't do this with the ambassador. I'm going to finish. You did this with Ben Shapiro, which you gave the show to him. No, no. Hang on. I'm giving you Get plenty of time. I'm I'm giving you plenty. You asked about the analogy of a plane flying over yeah, targeting. Yeah, well, you didn't answer my question. But that did happen, Mohammed, with ISIS. Would you accept Belfast to be flattened or not? Yes or no. Wait a minute. It never happened, so the like for like isn't... It's, no, no, it's a hypothesis. It's no, hypothetical. It's not. It's not. I don't do hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs> don't do hypotheticals. No, no, let's deal with reality. OK, yeah? let's deal with reality. Now, let me, let me finish. Then you can ask. So you don't want to ask a question. No. Here's the reality. The British of, public can see this. Here's the reality, yeah. right? Let's just, British public can see this. Yeah, they can see it. Yeah, go on. They're listening to the keep, debate. Keep going. Right? I, for what it's worth, I think it's a good debate to have. Right? These are questions many people on the pro-Palestinian side are having. I get it. I get it. Right? But you're trying to compare what happened on October the 7th with the IRA. No, I'm not. I'm comparing, I use the I'm comparing, wait a minute, question. I'm comparing it to ISIS. And oh, the way that the world ISIS. in the end dealt with ISIS actually was to use airstrikes. Okay. And many civilians were killed. There's a huge difference. Many innocent between people them, died. You're not, you They're not. Understand. You don't understand it because you have no Nobody idea. Of the religion. What's difference. the difference between what happened okay. on okay. October a, the 7th and ISIS? The difference between the Palestinian resistance is the following. Okay, Any kind of thing which has Palestinian resistance attached to it, mm. and ISIS, which is a, is a brand of tech fearism, okay, is that ISIS is just one of many brands of tech fearism, wh which you don't know what it is, which is a kind of excommunication type um, her heresiological Islamic sect. Okay, so if there's it's not nihilistic mass murder, that's all they care about. Listen, I, I know what you're saying, but I'm saying something else. You agree with me, don't you? I do, but I, of course I do. But I'm, you're not understanding what I'm saying, so I'm trying to break it. I am you. understanding what you're saying. What I'm saying is that anything. And I'm not anti-Palestinian, by the way. Sure, please. But you over the many years, if you, bothered, if you bothered to check what I said about it, I have always tried to shine a light please, please, on speak. the plight of the Palestinians. Allow me to speak, please, because you're just talking over me. The difference between the two are the following, right? Mm. Even if we assume that the killing of combatants in most definitions of terrorism is something which is brings someone to be a terrorist, mm. okay? I would say that if that is the case, then the state of Israel breaks that threshold and meets that condition. Because Israel is, why is Israel not a state terrorist? If, if their highest officials are admitting that we want to damage and we want damage and not accuracy. Why, answer me this question. Why is the state of Israel who are illegally occupying illegally occupying uh, Gaza and the West Bank according to international law. And even the ICJ said that, okay, that, which is, uh, as you know, an organ of the, uh, of the UN, all right? So this is international law. They did say that. But the, the, uh, they are occupying, they're seizing, okay. they're bombarding, they're indiscriminately killing, and they're blocking the supply lines. They're using white phosphorus. They're doing what you call mowing the grass, which is every uh, couple of years, every few years, they're killing the Palestinian people. Let me ask, why, 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 Mohammed, I, I want to understand what differentiates yeah. an Israeli in the sky pressing a button, killing the civilians from somebody in any terrorist organization shooting the people. Because what differentiates it? Israel will say it has a right to Can defend I answer that? So will the terrorist... Right? That was a good question. I'm not in response lie. to an act of war. Okay. When but, was an act of war? Okay, but like... First. At, at some point, when do they say enough is enough? I don't know. I just don't know what you do. It's so you just blow the whole place up, though?
If if the I, I, cartel came over here right now and killed three thousand people in Houston, the U.S. would blow the whole bitch up. We're not gonna blow all of Mexico. Up. I don't think so. If we're, they had one city, I, I, if they had I, one I city, guarantee you, we would not blow city the whole in thing Mexico. Up. We're gonna hit all the cartel bro. right there. Hey, let me let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. They would do some crazy. We're not killing no kids. Hey, I don't know. Y'all be quiet. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me give you an example. It's not right. Al Qaeda came from Afghanistan. They blew nine eleven up. The World Trade Center up. We did not decimate Afghanistan. Because it's we not a good government we, that we, does we, that. We was in Afghanistan. We did. Did we blow that, that shit to fucking war? Damn near, kind of. Yes. Afghanistan We're not killing innocent kids. Huh? Afghanistan still exists today. We didn't blow Afghanistan. But they, 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 they had more power. They're trying to blow it out. They were a better army. This is just bro, not a country. This, this is a, a gang of the people. The fact, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, there are, we had freaking hey. army bases in Afghanistan. There's hey. soldiers hey. interacting with Afghan people that have nothing to do with the war. Okay. After that shit. We did yeah, not let's decimate let's Afghanistan. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just saying, we did not decimate let's Afghanistan. Go. Let's go. Somebody, I'm we, we don't have to watch we Ben Shapiro. We but as of right now, I'm not damn standing with Palestine. I'm, I'm, I can't I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what we did. I'm gonna tell you what we did. I'm gonna tell you what we did. Right now, I stand with Israel. Cause bro, think about this. I'm gonna say one more thing. I'm gonna keep it 100. When you look at that map, bro, the map is crazy. Listen, bro. They're trying to kill. They're just literally killing bro, all. Bro, we did not. We did not go okay. into Afghanistan I'm not, I'm and decimated. Okay. We had army bases. We had soldiers interacting with Afghanistan. Children. But how did they respond to ISIS? He just said it. We went in. They said they bombed they them. No, they we went did. from the we sky did. and bombed them. We used information to they find said, out where and they, they said are and innocent people died. Up. Yeah, in Syria, of course. So they, that doesn't matter, bro. We we found those, out those, those where ISIS didn't matter, okay, bro. But that's that's collateral. We didn't go up and decimate Syria. It's still, so they didn't matter. Bro, you said it's collateral. Know, I don't even know where Syria at. But bro, they said you you heard what he but said. But you they said, said it was collateral, bro. But listen though, we we went and got what we needed to do. But, but did you we, said it was collateral. Did right? we blow the whole place up though? Yes. That you just said there was collateral people that died. You just no. Listen though. Listen though. He said they're trying to flatten it. Don't care about no, accuracy. No, I'm not condemning that. We did I'm not, not, I'm not, not saying like, dude, listen, right listen, listen, listen. I'm saying this. I said this. I said this. When is enough enough? Okay, if you make an accurate strike, boom, you blow something up. Obviously, there's going to be all type of shit and collateral. That's part of Some the explosion. Some people might die. That, yes. People are going to die. That's part of war. That's bad. But That's very bad. I condemn that. Flip I, I condemn that. I agree. Okay, on the flip side of things, you have to make an accurate strike. Nowhere in American history have we ever just went somewhere and just blew that shit up. Yes, I'm seeing heads hanging out. We are making accurate strikes based on military data. We Nigga, have, we did that because we were trying, bro. Because we, 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 we got bombed. We got bombed and we got attacked. Did we destroy the whole place? Damn near, yes, no, we, we did. We dropped two nukes. We're looking at the calculated nukes. We're looking at the people who died. We dropped after nukes in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and then we came up and helped them rebuild. We didn't blow it up completely. Look into a history book. Read about it. You're just talking. You don't know. Bro. Read it. We didn't go in there to destroy all of Japan, flatten Japan. No. We went to apply to a. Terror, some people uh, might hold on, 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 hold on. Y'all want to hear something? Y'all want to hear something? The two atomic bombs that the U.S. dropped on Japan, Hiroshima different. and Nagasaki, Nagasaki. killed 129,000 and 226,000, most of whom were civilians and remain in only use of nuclear said, weapons in armed conflict. The U.S. did that. Yes, it's They killed... Nuke. 226,000 people, it's mostly nuke. civilians. That was the first nuke. That was the first two nukes ever dropped. So did, is Israel doing the same thing that the U.S. did? Dude, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. let me give you an example. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you an example. Stop. Let me give you an example. Hell yeah, did yeah. we try to flatten Japan? Yes. yes. 226,000 people died. That's bro. two nukes, listen, bro. Listen, listen, yes, we, were, we did. Did we flatten Japan? Japan is a small island, don't you know? That did almost took out a whole island. 226,000 people. Listen. How many people is enough? Did we flatten Japan? Like you said, how many people is enough? listen. Was our intention to flatten Japan? Yes. No, it wasn't. 226,000 people died. It was, it was, it was, bro. Two nukes, bro. 226,000 We don't know what that was. That was one of the first nukes ever dropped. Guess what after that? And no one's done it again. Nuclear, nuclear war is outlawed. Exactly. Our intention. Were not and you, U.S. didn't care about that shit. They did that. They didn't bro, care about the babies. That was a calculated. The U.S. didn't that care about the babies. Bro, then did that they? Did the U.S. care about the babies? They did. They did. That's that was a good a calculated attack. Of course, it's gonna be calculated. Two hundred twenty-six thousand people died. Bro. bro, we picked was they all in the army? Bro, what's our intentions to destroy all of Japan? We don't Damn know. Yes. What happened? Yes. What happened? We had internment camps in America too. What happened? We we had internment camps in America that, and they bombed that's them. Part, that's part of that's part of war, bro. Obviously, my boy, that's what I got. That's not the same. Our intentions were not to destroy the whole place. It was it was retaliation of war. Those were the first two nuclear bombs dropped. Obviously, I mean, that's our point. I just proved it. That's the same point. I just you said. Listen though, listen though, we were not trying to flatten Japan, but they. Did. They nigga, bro, two it, nukes. But bro, they did. That bro, was nukes. the first nukes I ever dropped. Obviously, they, oh, they, they knew they were gonna do that. They knew they were gonna do that. Pause, pause, pause. So your argument is they didn't know what they were doing. 
Bro, no, that's not what I'm saying. So what are they saying? So they knew what they were doing. I'm saying we did not go in there to destroy everybody. Obviously, we dropped two of the most <laughs> nuclear bombs to protect. They tried to blow up America. They, they came didn't drop that. So they did that. Was that accurate, precise? That was in 19 fucking 44. So what? It's 2023. So yeah, it's war. war. So it's different. War is war. So bro, it's, it's the same so, world. So, so you're saying they should they should be able to destroy all of Gaza and kill everybody there? Hey, the U.S. did what they did, and nobody's talking about that shit. So if y'all want to say free Palestine, talk about it. who's talking about it? Bro, we are allies with Japan. We went and helped them rebuild. We're okay, cool with Japan. They okay, said we're sorry. Okay. We sorry. We killed two hundred twenty-six thousand people. We sorry. No, that's not we right. sorry about bro, that. Bro, no. nuclear war is alcohol. I'm just saying. They'll use right. an example from nineteen forty-four. Bro, I mean, it, it, it happens. happens. It happens. It happens. But it happens. Happens. Bro, then we know we did. We, we, didn't, didn't, then we didn't cry about that then too. Bro, that's more people though. died there than in this one. That's different though. Two hundred twenty-six thousand. How's that, that first, different? That was the first nuclear bomb ever dropped. So you, so you're, so you're yeah, justifying that by saying they didn't know what they were doing. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to say, uh, you said they didn't think it was gonna kill that many dead people. Yes, they so, did. So they bomb. They, so, they so did, you think bro. They it's accidentally, oh shit. The big ass bomb. We, we just, gonna blow some shit. Oh, I didn't say that. Keep it up. 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 Keep it that's different though. Yes or no? That's, that's apples to oranges. Just say yes. Because no. we were not trying to black in the band. We're trying to get them to the accident, there. bro. They, they killed all the people on the bro. Can we just accident? 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 Yeah, I think it's a button bro. killing the civilians from somebody in any terrorist organization shooting the people. Because what differentiates it? Israel will say it has a right to defend itself. So will the terrorists. Right? That's what Osama bin Laden they, said. And they will That's vehemently... exactly Osama bin Laden's argument. No, it's not, though. Terror... Yes, Hamas, it is. I read Hamas his fatwas. Hamas I read his fatwas. Hamas aren't defending themselves. Bin Laden wasn't okay, defending himself. Define defense. Bin Laden was trying well, how do you to kill defense? as many of the enemy as but, possible. Let me ask you a question. How could it be that an occupier is defending itself in the first place? The, the, the notion that Israel is defending itself mm. is as absurd as the notion that the rapist is defending itself from the victim. Mm. Because Israel is the occupier. You have so an Hold on, hold on. Yeah, but I, no, excuse me, let me finish. His argument finish. is the land. An yeah, occupier by international mm. law definition means that they are already in an offensive posture. I don't know who's If they're in an I offensive can, posture, no. if someone brings you, you to Morgan, you look up grabs you by the thing, mm. throws you into your b b bathroom, yeah? How do you get you're land? in your bathroom, you're screaming, and they're eating War. food, having a good time. Mm. One you day you come out of your bathroom, you try and find one of them, who's defending? But you get land from war, right? In the original.
this week in defending themselves against one of the worst terror attacks ever. So you can kill right? civilians for that? You, you can target Hamas. Can you target... No, hold on, excuse and if me. Hamas, no, 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 excuse if Hamas me. the controlling, no, no, governing, excuse me, excuse ruling me. No, no, no. body got, fine. in, Ga- target in Hamas. Gaza, no, no, but hide this amongst is a false the public... This is a false fact. Members of the public die. No, 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 no. You're talking about fallacies. Yeah. This is called the Martin Bailey <laughs> fallacy, yeah. which is that you're trying to defend one controversial idea by using another. It's Martin Bailey fallacy. You can check it up on your own time. The point is this. I'm not asking you whether Israel has a right to defend itself. Mm. We've already said of the, impos- the logical and legal impossibility, the logical and legal impossibility of an occupying power mm. according to international, international law of actually defending itself because let it's already... It. Let me I've finish. To... Let me finish. Oh, no. It's already in an offensive posture. Now, I'm saying this. If it is the case, you're just mm. saying it's defending itself against Hamas. Mm. Is the only way to defend itself against Hamas by dropping bombs in the most densely populated area, no, one of the most densely populated so. areas in the world. Is that the only way? Mm. It's a oh, false dichotomy. You're creating a false dichotomy. They can do surgery. They can do it. I have. They can do. They can Marvin. go in and they can target. We're going to take Hamas. a short break. I actually, like I'm going to keep you. That. I want to finish. Well. I said that. The time. I think it's an important debate, wrong, an important man. conversation. Sure. But you have you, to answer my questions. I will. We'll come back. Yeah, but actually, you have to answer mine. It's my show. Actually, I, just for the, I can answer for the, for the record. You can ask me as many questions as you want, sure, but sure. I'll tell you what I think. I've answered all your we're questions. We're going to take a short way. break. We're, we're going to come back and we're going to finish with a few more minutes, okay? Welcome back to Pitbull versus Wilson. Please do be talking over people like me. crazy. <laughs> we've had, we've had a lively shit. debate. I knew it would be a lively debate. This is a very uh, important issue. It's a very. I like them, though. It's a passionate issue. People on both sides. You know, if I tweet about issue. anything, it doesn't matter what I say. It's hard. One side, if I'm even remotely sympathetic to them, the other side, poor abuse and vice versa and so on. It's going to be in circles. Let's try and cut through it all and get to what happens here. How do we find peace in the Middle East? I've been covering Israel-Palestine since I've been a journalist, three decades. And it seems to me we're as far away now as we've ever been. How do you think we get You'll to a place You'll be surprised. Look, Ham- even Hamas, some four or five years ago, they even agreed to the 1967 lines, the borders. And what, what you have to understand, that this cannot be scapegoated on Hamas, because before Hamas's existence, this was still going on. This was going on before Israel's existence. But do you believe in a, in a two-state solution? No, I, I believe in... Look, even Hamas was proposing a two-state solution. But do you believe in it? We have to. That's the whole solution. solution. That's 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 solution. From, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a difficult Diplomatic. one. Could you imagine that is two states way. next to each other living in peace? It's Palestine, a, Israel. Look, it's a possibility. I mean, as I say, even Hamas was saying that that's a possibility. Mm-hmm. I mean, this was four years ago. But what I want to bring this to your history. attention is that nothing can happen if the international body or the UN becomes a toothless agency. In 2018 to 19 when uh, actually 221 people were killed on a p- peaceful protest in Gaza. It was called the Great Mar- March of Gaza. 220 people, it's what people died. Hamas didn't shoot a bullet. Uh, no rocket was launched, yeah? So 220 people died, and this is um, nar- even mentioned by the UN and, and, and these kind of agencies. They tried to bring it up, the Palestinian Authority, to they tried to bring this up to the, what we call the ICJ, which is part of the UN, mm. okay? What happened is the Donald Trump administration, they, fro- they threatened to freeze the assets of the ICJ, which, which sh- tells you the following. Mm. What are the Palestinian people to do? Because the fact of the matter is, if they try and bring it up... Let me ask you. No, no, right, let, let me, let me ask finish you. the point. If they try and bring We're it up... We're running out of time. That's why I'm jumping. But if they try and bring it up to international law, it's, it's thwarted. I, I do think if, international, if to boycott, international law matters. Sure. I just don't believe that any peace can be achieved with Hamas in charge. Do you? Before Hamas... Now, there was, after what happened last before, weekend. Forget about last weekend. Last weekend is... Can't before, forget about last weekend. No, okay. it's not... Before last weekend, before Hamas yeah. in 1987, this was still going on. But not on this scale. <laughs> worse. No, it wasn't it was, as bad as this. True. What are you talking about? What happened on the that, Sorry, that shows ignorance of the history. was the single worst assault on a population totally. since 9-11. It no, was. The Yom Kippur War was 2,600 people died, by the way. 1973. That's false. In one day... In one day, I don't know, about 600 people died in one day. Mohammed, Harry I've got it. to leave it there. We've run out of time. I gave you more time than I planned to. Sure. I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> Damn, I appreciate Benz. you coming in. Thanks. Damn, Benz. I ain't gonna lie. We got to watch the Ben Shapiro one next. That's only right. That's yes. what oh, should Shapiro be great. Has one? Yes. Yeah, so guys, be looking out for that, guys. Let us know what y'all think about Pearson. What do y'all think about Hamas? We're sorry, y'all. Yeah, we got a little heated, guys. This is a crazy argument. We're out of here. Where is his? Uh... Damn, I thought Ben Shapiro did one, man. Yep, there goes Ben Shapiro's.